Hello, dear people. It's Wednesday, October 5th, 2022. And yes, I'm happy to be home this week. Thank you for your prayers for last week at uh, Ridgecrest in North Carolina as the ACNA bishops met for conclave. Thank you for your prayers. That was very important. And thank you for your prayers for our travel. Of course, Hurricane Ian was very much part of the week. Uh, and we do pray for all who have been, whose lives have been affected uh, profoundly by this hurricane, particularly in Florida, uh, Fort Myers, and, and uh, so we do pray for them. But thank you for praying for our travel. We actually reduced the conference by one day in order so that we could all get home safely, which we did. Praise the Lord and thank you. Well, <clears throat> this coming weekend is in here in Canada, our national Thanksgiving. Monday, October 10th is Thanksgiving Monday. Uh, and so I'm going to spend a few moments looking at Psalm 100. Maybe you know it as the Jubilati or the Jubilati Deo. It's a pretty familiar psalm, uh, and it's a great psalm. And in fact, the ESV described it as a psalm for giving thanks. I like that. And that's why we're looking at it particularly today. Now, there are two things that the Psalm 100 says, and I'm not going to go through it in order of the psalm. There's five verses, but I'm just going to pick. There's two things that we are told uh, that we need to know about the Lord. Number one, it's the Lord who made us. We didn't make ourselves. It's he who made us. We are the sheep of his pasture. No, this is verse three. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us, and we are his we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. That is a wonderful fact. We're not a random uh, uh, thing that happened in DNA. Um, it's it, the, the living God before the foundations of the world had you and me in mind and called us into being, created us through the agent of our parents. Uh, and so here we are because he made us, we are his. We're not only his by virtue of creation, but we're also his by virtue of salvation. In fact, Paul says, uh, you are not your own, you're bought with a price. Jesus died on a cross and rose again, ascended to heaven in order to win a way for us to be with him and have a living relationship with God forever. Uh, he bought us with a price. He not only created us, he bought us back so that we could be with him forever. Praise the Lord. The Lord made us, and secondly, and this is perhaps obvious, but needs to be said, he's good. I know some of you know that God is good all the time, all the time God is good. Well, that's absolutely correct. Listen to verse 5. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. So how do you respond to a God who made us and he's good? Well, the psalmist says there are three things that we should be doing. First of all, uh, sing and rejoice. Verse one, make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Well, I can't help but remember a time in my life in 1993 when I was part of a small team and we were in a hospital far away with all the patients there, some 300, had cancer as a result of Chernobyl, the fallout of Chernobyl. And anyway, at the beginning, the, the, the leader of our group, Peter Ovenovich was his name, uh, speaking Russian, and I, of course, didn't understand, but all of a sudden I heard Charlie Masters, and I knew who that was, and, and the translator said, get up. And, and I said, what do you mean, get up? He said, sing. What do you mean, sing? <laughs> well, he said, you're going to sing. So there I stood up at the microphone. Well, I'm not a singer. Anybody who stood beside me in a service knows that. I do my best. I love singing. I come from a family where we all say, sang. But anyway, uh, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has, that's what I sang. That's all I can think of. It's a pretty good, uh, uh, good song. And I can tell you that as I looked out over the crowd, Every eye was crying. They were all crying as I sang. Now, the jury's out. Did they sing because they were deeply moved by this song? Or did they sing because it was so painful? The only thing I can say is that when I stopped singing, they all stopped crying. Sing and rejoice. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. Secondly, 
come in, uh, which, uh, and it says in verse two, come into his presence with thanksgiving. So singing is pretty good and big. And that's why in our worship services, worship and song is such a central and important part of our life together. Secondly, serve the Lord with gladness. Sometimes you just don't feel like even getting up. Sometimes what you have before you is something that you don't really feel like doing at all. Well, what does this have to say about that? Well, what comes to me is that, in fact, even although you may not want to do it, you're doing it with gladness because you're doing it for the Lord. I'm glad to do this, Lord, even although it's not something I enjoy doing. I'm glad to do this for you, Lord, because I'm doing it for you. Serve the Lord with gladness. And there, thirdly and lastly, and obviously for Thanksgiving, thank him all the time. Verse four, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. Isn't it incredible that he likes to hear our praises, our thanksgivings, uh, and it, it blesses him. Well, let's keep doing it all the time and enjoy doing it. Let's do it on our own in our private devotions. Let's do it together. We're called to be together and worship the Lord with gladness and in song. Uh, it's a wonderful gift that we have that we can bless the Lord with our thanksgivings. Well, friends, I just want to encourage you this week, this weekend, search the scriptures, get to know this wonderful God better, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the one who made us and the one who saved us. He's worthy of our praise. Uh, and, and, uh, and then as we get to know him, realize that everybody needs to know him. And so every opportunity you've been given, open your mouth and speak to people about Jesus. God bless you this Thanksgiving.